Okay, let's talk about you finally passing the GED in 2022. This is the year for you, and some of you out there have been thinking about the GED for one, two, three, maybe 10, 20, 30 years. <laughs> I have worked with uh, so many adults through um, uh, the last several years helping them to get their GED, and the number one area that people struggle uh, in the most is the math section, and that's uh, understandable because the you know uh, the more years you've been away from math, the more you have to relearn, and it's typically one of those subjects that people have a lot of anxiety about. So, um, if this sounds familiar to you, I want you to kind of relax because I'm going to give you some um, uh, great suggestions here that uh, will allow you to work towards you finally passing the GED in 2022. Um, you know, you don't want to uh, wait another year or postpone this as education is just becoming so much more important in the workplace. And, you know, once you have your high school equivalency done, it's going to open up so many more opportunities uh, for you as well. So uh, let me get into this problem here. Now, this is an example problem of something that you should be able to handle pretty well if you're fully prepared for the GED. But um, if you don't know how to do it, don't worry about it. I'm going to explain this here in a second. But uh, it's a good indication uh, that you need to work on your math skills, okay? So I'm going to give you uh, suggestions on all of this, and of course, we're going to go over this problem in one moment. But um, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math programs there is. I've done uh, several different types of courses and one of the ones that I'm most proud of is my GED math prep course. I'm going to leave a link to that course in the description of this video. But it's been um, so effective helping so many people really increase their math skills. You know, you have to take this seriously. There's a lot to know on uh, the GED. You get a lot of algebra and uh, uh, geometry. And you got to really work hard to build your skills. Remember, you're being tested on high school level mathematics. So, um... Uh, my program is outstanding. So if you're watching this video and you really want to get serious about your GD, you want to check out my uh, program for sure. But let's now get into this problem. Okay, so if some of you are like, I don't even know what this is. Well, I'm going to explain this. Okay, this thing in algebra is called a function. Okay, and you really need to know about functions. But basically, functions are a rule. All right, so let me show you how this works here real quick. So this thing f of x equals 2x squared minus x. This is how we say this, all right? So let's write this over here. f of x is equal to 2x squared minus x. So what does this mean? Well, what this means is that this little x, we're going to input a number, and put a number into here, okay? And let's just do an easy example. Let's find f of 3. Okay, so the three is our input value. And all we're going to do is replace these little x's here with three. And then we're going to figure out uh, the result of doing that. So let's uh, take a look at that. So that's going to be two times. We're going to put in a three wherever we see an x. Okay, just like this. All right, so there's our three. There's our input value. Now we have to go ahead and simplify this, and we'll get some sort of output value here. Okay, now, of course, you have to be up to speed on your arithmetic, but let's go ahead and figure this out real quick. So we have 3 squared is 9. Remember, you have to do powers first before multiplication. A lot of students will confuse this. So this is going to be 2 times 9 minus 3. And we'll just kind of walk this through. 2 times 9 is, of course, 18. 18 minus 3, if my math is good today, it should be 15. Okay, so f of 3 f of 3 is 15. So when we plugged in 3 into this function here, the result was 15. Okay, so this is real, real basic fundamentals of uh, functions, and it's a huge topic, again, in algebra that you really need to completely understand to be fully ready for the GED. So here, in this particular function, what we're going to do is we want to figure out what f of negative 2a is. Now, I know a lot of you out there, this seems kind of scary. Uh, you're like, well, boy, this is, you know, I understand this. But when it comes to this stuff, you know, that's a whole different deal. Well, all we have to do is just follow the pattern, okay? So over here, when we plugged in the 3, I replaced the x's with 3's. So if I want to find f of negative 2a, I have to replace these x's with what? 
you guessed it, I have to replace it with a negative 2a. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so this is going to be 2. Now that x there is going to be negative 2a squared minus, okay, now I have a negative 2a right here, right? So negative 2a. So if you understand what I'm doing so far, okay, then you're, you know, you're doing excellent, right? You, it's indicative of you being able to handle the math on the GED. But you're not going to be able to, uh, you know, do well on GD mathematics by studying a little here, a little bit there, this topic here, this topic there. You got to get yourself in a formal um, course of instruction, and you got to build your math skills up like this, one step at a time. And what so many people do is they shortcut the system by, mm, quite frankly, you know, sometimes they're motivated, sometimes they're not, and so that just you're kind of sporadic. You're not really getting any place, but. Um, if you're really serious about getting your GED, then I don't think you're going to find any better course than, than my math prep course. It's super comprehensive. If you like my teaching style, then I'm going to teach you what you really need to do or really uh, what you need to know to excel on GED mathematics. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure this out now. So I have f of negative 2a is this. So now the question becomes, what is this? And, you know, obviously, if you are rusty on some algebra skills, no, no worries. We'll walk... Uh, walk you through this. So remember, the last time we had to do powers, okay, first, and that's no different here. So I have to figure out what negative 2a squared is. So let's do that down here. So negative 2a squared in algebra uh, means take this negative 2a and multiply it by itself uh, like so. Negative, negative 2a times negative 2a. So we're multiplying by itself, okay, that's what it means to square a number. So I have a negative times a negative, right? I'm just looking at these numbers, negative two times negative two. If you don't know that, it's gonna be a positive four. And um, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. And if you like this video, please consider smashing that like button as well. But um, I have a lot of additional videos on my um, uh, YouTube channel in my pre-algebra playlist that can help you with all these basic skills, okay? So that's another great resource for you as well. Okay, so negative two times negative two is positive four, then a times a is a squared, okay? So now, that's what negative two a squared is, so we have two times four a squared. Okay, I'll get back to this in a second, but let's address this here. So now I have a minus of a minus two a, so what's that? Well, in mathematics, a minus sign, we can kind of think of it, or a negative sign, we kind of think of it as the opposite. So this is like negative times a negative, so that's a positive, or the opposite of a negative 2a. So what's the opposite of a negative 2a? That's a positive 2a, okay? Or a uh, negative times a negative is a positive 2a. A couple different ways we can think about that. All right, so we're almost done here. So what do we do next? Well, I gotta do this multiplication right there. I have two times four a squared. That gives me eight a squared plus 2a, and I can't combine these guys here because they are not like terms. I have an a squared here and an a here, so we are done. We uh, evaluated the function for negative 2a, all right? And of course, you know, what's the practical, um, you know, value of doing this? Nothing more than uh, practicing your algebra, being able to handle, you know, the manipulation of working with variables and functions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, that's going to be part of what you're going to be facing on uh, GED mathematics. Now remember, you know you're going to, uh, you know, need to know this stuff. I think a lot of people are like, especially with the GED, because the GED this test has been around for 70 plus years, and it had kind of a um, reputation for being uh, somewhat easy. And I also think that it has uh, certainly not this uh, that way today. But um, you know, people, I don't think it. People who had their GEDs didn't get the respect that they were entitled to. But today, you get your GED. I mean, you're pretty much ready for college, okay? That's kind of the idea behind the increases, increase of, I don't want to say standards, but uh, they did a major change in the GED back in, I believe, 2013, 2014. And, uh, you know, hey, it's a high school uh, equivalency test. And what kind of math do you learn in high school? Well, it's far beyond arithmetic. You do need to know a good amount of algebra and geometry, all right? So if you like my teaching style and you're really now serious about passing your GED in 2022, then I think my course um, 
is the course for you. All right, okay, again, I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link in the description of this video to take you right to that course. And um, again, if you wanna check out some more of my videos on my channel, uh, I have uh, plenty of uh, videos in my pre-algebra and algebra plays geometry playlist that can help you get going as well. So uh, don't forget to subscribe and like uh, this video and uh, leave me some feedback. You know, what's your situation? Um, are you been struggling with math or GED? If, do you resonate with this video? You're like, yeah, I, I understand what this person's saying. Um, uh, but any feedback is good feedback. But I do want to tell you that you can absolutely pass your GED, GED. And if you don't have your high school equivalency, you must get it. Okay, so I am here to help, at least with the math section. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best on the GED. Thank you for your time and have a great day.